hello besties we are back in la and we're going for sushi tonight i landed this morning at 11 15 a.m i'm exhausted i went to bed at maybe two a little after 2 a.m and then i got up at 5 a.m to get ready for the airport my flight was at 8 15 so i need to be at the airport no later than 6 30 and i barely made it in time but we're here now we are going to santo it's a sushi restaurant the original location is in mexico city and they opened up one here in LA and Silver Lake. So we're going there tonight, really looking forward to that. And yeah, I'm here getting ready. I don't know what I'm gonna put on, but I need to be ready in about 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put a move on it. projector for Christmas and it arrived before I got here so I was thinking we would put it together put it together together set it up together I was thinking we could set it up together I mentioned in one of my previous apartment videos, maybe my apartment favorites, that my current projector started developing screen burn, I believe it's called, where it's a dark circle that forms and gets bigger and bigger and bigger over time from the light bulb inside of it or something to that nature. I'm pretty sure I'm botching the definition of that. But either way, I did a lot of research and came across this projector that is supposed to be the best thing on the market. Well, the best thing on the budget market, let's say that. So yeah, hopefully it lives up to the hype. My current projector has lasted me to a little over two years. So hopefully this one will last about the same or more. I should also mention that the apartment is a mess right now. I have not unpacked. I just came from Target picking up some replenishments. So there's that. Look at how this package came. Like they ripped the box or something and just slapped tape over it, but it's exposed.
could I do an iced matcha with oat milk? And what sweeteners do you have? Um, we usually use agave for the matcha, but we have vanilla and honey and simple syrup. Okay, I'll do simple syrup. Yeah. I feel like I haven't really put the camera on. Let me turn it. I just. I'm hoping that this is as clear when I pull this footage as it is on this LED screen because I am shooting in manual mode right now. I'm playing around with two, three different cameras at the moment. I have this one, this is my Canon M50, and then I have my Canon G7X Mark II and then I have my GoPro. So I've been playing around with the settings on all three cameras and just trying to see which one I prefer quality wise. But yeah, so I am back in LA, which I think I started the last video on or the last time I turned the camera on. We were going to Santo Nigiri and Sake Bar, I believe it's called, in Silver Lake. It was wonderful and incredible experience. 10 out of 10 would recommend. But I haven't really turned the camera on since then and that was about two days ago, three days ago. I feel like every morning I wake up, I have something to do and it's just been go, go, go. So I haven't really had the time to sit and catch up. I am gonna do a proper catch up, this is not that, but I wanted to check in. We've been doing a few things yesterday. We went to the row downtown to Scent Bar. It was a really cool experience. We got to try a lot of scents and get a few samples or testers. We went to the Broad. We went to Maru Coffee in downtown, which is, I believe, their most popular location. And in the back of the store, there's a retail store, clothing store, where they sell women's wear and men's wear. It's called Departmento. I've seen it on TikTok, which I haven't been on in a few days now, taking a bit of a, a TikTok sabbatical. But we went there. The merchandising threw me off a bit. The way that they have things set up, the way that they organize the pieces or don't organize the pieces rather. It was just a bit too disorganized for me and the lighting, some areas of the store was dark. You couldn't really see the garment. So I think the only way I will go back there is if I'm looking for a specific piece and they have it, then I'll go and get it there. But it's not that pleasant of a shopping experience for me in my opinion. What else? Today we went to lunch at the Chateau. It was definitely a better experience than the last time we went to the chateau which was for dinner and they were virtually sold out of everything on the menu and we were there pretty early we were there maybe at 5 or 6 p.m it was our early dinner and they had nothing and i think that I tend to forget that it's a hotel. So I'm sure people are ordering room service. And when you walk in and you don't see that the tables are, are full, you're like, wait, why are you sold out of food? And no one's really here, but it's a hotel at the end of the day. So, but it was a great experience today. Naomi was a bit of a menace because there was another super cute Yorkie running around and she's super territorial and protective. So she was very occupied about him. After that, we went to the Grove because I don't know how this happened, but I was out of my eyebrow pencil, my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow whiz. I cannot live without that thing. And I bought one right before I went to New York. And I, I guess I, I was going out so much 
that I was using my makeup more than I normally do when I'm here in LA. And sure enough, I used that pencil to the bone and I picked up two today just so that I can have a backup and don't have to worry about running out again. And now we are getting ready. Well, I need to clear off the bed. I dumped everything out of my suitcases because I was looking for this top earlier. And yeah, so now I have a pile of clothes on my bed that I would want to deal with right now realistically or ideally but we have to go we're going to a i don't know if it's a book reading book signing but it's not too far it's at skylight um love skylight and i think it's only for an hour or two so we're gonna go there just for a bit and we were gonna go to lolo's but we're already on the gate so i'm not even gonna push it and think that we're gonna make it through a whole dinner and drinks after this thing. We're just gonna head home, clean up as much as we can, and yeah, maybe pig out on the couch until we go to sleep. We'll see where the day takes us. It's a rooftop and then there's a restaurant downstairs and it's like a vinyl type of situation, but it's pretty big to my understanding. Tell me, to me 